Can ducks be used to detect earthquakes? Okay. <laughs> okay. The experiment is you set up um, seismic accelerometers near duck ponds, and they compare the pre-quake behavior of the ducks versus like, normal times. Okay. And the inside is ducks as feathery seismographs? Maybe. Thoughts? Thoughts, uh, initial thoughts are my understanding was most birds will fly away before, like an hour before an earthquake strikes or whatever. Is that right? So I don't know. Yeah, it's it's something like that. A lot of other animals can sense this too. It's not just, they, they I think they can sense changes in the magnetic field. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is my, or, or something similar to that, okay? Now, maybe ducks are bad. I, I, I'm not sure why ducks specifically, other than maybe ChatGPT is a fetish for ducks that we're learning about. Well, let's not, let's not judge, okay? Oh, okay, that's true. That's, that's true. That's my the bad. mantra of our that, podcast. That was the motto. No judging. Yes, that's the yes. motto of yes. this podcast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My bad. Transgressed. We don't um, judge humans. We don't judge yeah. AI. <laughs> yes. So, significance. It's a significant question. Yeah. Earthquakes. You want to yeah. be able to detect earthquakes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Here five, in out five. five out of five. Five out of five. Yeah, especially here in, uh, in, in, in California. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Innovation? Innovation is somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you're saying people have done this before. I think, yeah, people have definitely observed that birds and animals, they have strange behaviors right before an earthquake strikes. Okay. And that yeah. it can be used to predict earthquakes potentially? Potentially, because they flee or they fly away or uh, whatever. Okay. I'll yeah. say two, two or three out of five. Yeah. And then the research design. Research design is fairly on the higher end. I wouldn't say five out of five. Okay. But four, I mean, the obvious confounder here is maybe the ducks are not in the pond when the earthquake hits. They're maybe already flying around anyway. They would have to collect um, probably a lot of these, which I guess in California it's fine because we have a lot of small earthquakes all the time. So I like a four out of five. Okay. I disagree with you there. Uh, I'm going to give them a one out of five for research design. Wow. Because this sounds like a correlation of study, right? Mm. They're trying to correlate seismic activity with duck behavior. Yeah. Which is good and all. And maybe they do correlate. But you can't tell if the ducks are responding to the tremors and the earthquakes mm-hmm. or whether they're causing it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Well, you're right. I, didn't, I did not this think of this possibility. We'll not distinguish between the two possibilities. Hey, do you, do you have a hypothesis how they could do this? How could they cause tremors? How you ducks could cause does, earthquakes? Does they pitter-patter, pitter-patter or what? Butterfly effect, man. Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect, yeah. Well, duck effect, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair. 